So my largest online purchase occurred late last year. And I wasn't looking to buy any property, a condo, a house overseas uh, in Thailand or the Philippines. Um, but uh, because of this current situation, um, some opportunities arose. And um, I was just in bed, just uh, kind of casually looking at properties available in the locations that I've worked or lived in, in Thailand and the Philippines. And... Um, I looked at one property and I thought, man, this sure looks kind of familiar. And I realized I had seen this property for sale uh, a few years back. And at that time, I think it was listed for $6.999 million, and, uh, which is about 233000 U.S. And I didn't really want to commit two hundred thirty dollars to $250,000 uh, in a property in Thailand. As much as I love Thailand... Um, and I need a place of, you know, to kind of basically call home since I'm coming out here two to three months at a time, uh, two, three times a year. But um, I wanted to get something a little bit uh, less costly, more manageable, and not uh, lock up a lot of my resources, my assets in a property. And I came across this uh, property that was still listed from like three, three and a half years earlier for um, $6.9999 million. And um, it was listed for about 125000 And I knew that with this current pandemic, um, that 125000 I probably could get down uh, quite a bit lower. And um, I went ahead and reached out to the agent, and I offered 99000 exactly, U.S. dollars. And he countered with like, I believe it was about a hundred and. 5,000. And then he increased it later when he thought he was getting some traction for a possible buyer in the building to combine units. And um, he had asked for a bit more, and we finally agreed on a price of about 109,000 US dollars. Plus, I got all the furniture, which I sold anyways. And my total cost out the door was really ended up being 99,000 US dollars, anyways. And so I bought this. Uh, I believe we closed about October and I started a little bit of the remodel work, which I'll show you in a future video. And uh, this unit uh, is about an hour and a half south of Bangkok, uh, very close to an area where I used to work and uh, the company I worked for had an office close by. Uh, it is centrally located. And if you look in the top left hand corner, you'll see it has a ocean view. And it's right next door to one of the Wat temples. Um, across the street is a uh, daily market. Uh, on the other side is a uh, flea market that's open three days a week. And on the main road there, um, there's Starbucks, there's Subways, there's Domino Pizzas, there's Thai restaurants, there's shops. The bus line is right there. So it was a perfect location. That's why I kind of looked at the building before, but I just didn't want to commit the prices or commit to a price that uh, was being listed for a lot of the units. And this unit is um, actually fairly large. It's 132 square meters, uh, which is about 1,420 square feet. And um, once I kind of started the process and putting out some feelers and some offers out there, I realized that it was very attainable for me to get it. And so it moved very quickly. And there are so many sellers during this situation and just basically no buyers. Uh, everybody's kind of trapped at home. Uh, me being a Thailand, Philippines expat, um, I was stuck back in the U.S. or I chose to be here in the U.S. because I was unsure what was going to happen. And so I've been stuck over here uh, in the U.S. for over a year, the longest I've ever gone in my whole entire life without traveling abroad somewhere. But anyways, here's the building that I'm in that I purchased. And it's an older building, but it is centrally located. Um, I've lived in brand new buildings right by the beach, right by the river, um, lived in amazing buildings, but realized that, you know, ultimately it comes down to location, location, location. All my friends live in this area. Um, I'm very close to a lot of American Western amenities and shops, uh, along with all the Thai markets, flea shops, 
uh, the temples, uh, the bus line, uh, it's really strategically located. I couldn't have asked for a better spot to live in. So um, I went ahead and, uh, of course, I couldn't be over there. So I did some virtual tours or tried to do some virtual tours. But the Wi-Fi is so spotty in Thailand uh, during that kind of rainy season that uh, it just kept on cutting out. And we tried about four times, kind of gave up. And so what uh, the agent basically did was uh, sent me uh, thousands of photos for me to take a look at because he was um, <laughs> in short supply of buyers and just everybody wanted to sell. And so um, I didn't really organize these photos, but I put some of the better quality photos together or just a group of photos and let me show them to you. So this is the building itself, uh, a little over 10 years old, uh, centrally located. Uh, it's 15 floors and I bought uh, something on the 14th floor, 132 square meters. Now this is the entrance as you walk in and uh, this gentleman bought a lot of that wicker furniture that doesn't mold in high humidity uh, countries. Um, he had some teak furniture and real nice wooden doors, um, you know, nice looking floors. Um, you know, there was certain stuff that was older, but, uh, he did buy, uh, some furniture in here that, uh, was, uh, uh, worth some money. And so when I took over and purchased the property, I went ahead and, uh, had the agent sell the furniture and it brought my overall price of this unit down to 99,000. And honestly, um, I saw the same exact unit. I went back and looked at my old photos that I had saved and this unit was listed for 233000 uh, back in the day, uh, before all this pandemic situation started, before uh, prices started crashing a little bit. And so this is, yeah, as much as I didn't want to make my largest online purchase to this degree, $100,000, without ever setting foot in it or touching the item, uh, it was too good of a deal to pass up. Now, this is a picture of the bathroom. You can see the tile's a little bit old. Um, as I said earlier, I'm remodeling the whole place. The electrical is older. It's 10 years old or, you know, older, a little over 10 years old. And the fan is old. And so that'll all get replaced and gutted out. Um, I'll show you in the future videos the uh, demo that's already started. That's about, I would say, about 80% done. Now, uh, the kitchen area wasn't actually that bad. Um, he had a nice oven in there, nice looking kitchen countertops and uh, front uh, front doors with nice brand new handles. Um, and um, I went ahead and got rid of all that too because I decided that if I was going to do a full remodel and put in everything that I want to do, then it was best to sell everything and not even think about keeping anything. Now here's the uh, master bathroom and uh, this is Thailand for you. Uh, they have that old looking uh, glass tiles <laughs> in the in, in homes like yeah, you would see here in the US back in the 60s and 70s. And uh, I guess the feature piece was the urinal in the master bathroom. Uh, there was actually one in the guest, uh, the main um, guest bath too. But uh, this guy had had uh, two urinals installed in the condo. Um, also, he had a lot of blue um, um, you know, furnishings in here. So the toilet, the urinals, the sink were all blue. I think it was all a matching set that came with it. Um, and then as you can see, the, uh, this is Thailand for you. It has a bump gun right next to the toilet. Now, this is uh, one of the outside views. The One of the reasons why I like this unit is it's uh, a corner unit. So I have about uh, more than a 90 degree view. It's, uh, you know, if you take one corner all the way to the diagonal other corner, you know, you almost have a 180 degree view of, um, of the city and the skyline. Um, and so one side I have the city skyline, the hills, and then the other side has the beach views. And um, a lot of windows and two balconies. And so um, it was great uh, additions and features of this uh, condo. Uh, another picture of the bathroom. We'll skip that. This is the entryway leading into the master bedroom. He had a different size, uh, different size and a different type of door. Uh, I didn't keep any of the doors. I sold them. Uh, somebody came in and wanted to buy the wooden doors and uh, paid a decent amount of money for them. So I got rid of uh, those doors. I'm going to go with more modern style. Um, 
eventually I'm going to find a piece of property in uh, North Thailand up in the Isan area. It's either going to be Chiang Mai or Udon Thani. Um, I've worked in both areas, but mostly uh, most of my work in the past has been up in Udon Thani. And uh, when I do buy a, a buy some property to build a house in Thailand up north, um, it will be a Thai style home. I want it to fit the neighborhood. And I'll go ahead and go back to the kind of the teak finishings and the Thai wood style that and the, and the curved roo uh, pointy roofs. But uh, in this place, I went ahead and had everything uh, demolished and demoed out. And as you can see, the lighting up here, uh, it has that old uh, lighting system. And so um, putting in all new electrical and uh, going to go ahead and go with the LED lighting. Uh, it's going to be a smart home. So all the lighting will be uh, situated on switches, dimmers that are uh, smart switches, along with having the ability uh, to link up with uh, uh, Amazon Alexa. Now, here's another view. Um, uh, for this one is the view that's from the um, from the kitchen window, and you see that red brick building that's about four stories tall, five stories tall. Um, that is a electronic store, and it is huge inside. It has um, cell phone stores, computer stores, printers, banking stuff, some restaurants, a grocery store downstairs. There's a half a dozen grocery stores uh, all in walking distance, and uh, there's so much shopping in this area, and uh, it's inexpensive. Or, you know, there's some places that are more expensive, but uh, at least the options are there, you know, and that's where I said location, location, location is so very important. Now, you know, with this being an older building, um, the, the gentleman, um, you know, didn't really necessarily upkeep the place that much. But because I'm uh, remodeling the whole place from um, the ground to the ceiling uh, all the way up and down, um, it's not important. But you can see that uh, on that baseboard there, uh, the flooring there um, and the um, uh, some of the uh, tiles along with the sides and, and the doorway that's connected, you'll notice that uh, uh, it's starting to uh, pull away along with, uh, it looks like uh, that uh, it's a little bit worn out too. And so I'm going to go ahead and have everything done so it'll look like a brand new condo. And uh, that is another um, uh, piece of furniture, uh, wood furniture on the left there that was basically a cabinet that I sold uh, to another gentleman who wanted it. And most of the people that bought the furniture from me, I've never met because the uh, the real estate agent go, got ahead, wanted, went ahead and took care of it all. But he said most of the people were older people who liked that kind of, um, you know, older style look with the wooden, wooden uh, appeal. And so he said he, he uh, actually got top dollar for everything. Now, here's a shower. It's pretty primitive. Um, I've never had a shower like this. I know you see this all the time in Thailand and the Philippines, but, um, you know, two out of the three condos I purchased here already in Thailand um, were brand new units. So I had, uh, you know, rainfall, shower heads. Um, you know, I had one unit where it didn't have that, and I went ahead and installed the uh, high tech um, <laughs> three level uh, shower heads with the scrubbers and everything. But, um, you know, I just um, saw this picture and uh, realized that uh, everything needed to kind of get started from the beginning. <clears throat> now, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is the master bedroom. And um, you'll see in future pictures how large this master bedroom is. And I didn't want any of the furniture, so I, um, the agent went ahead and sold all this. But... You know how some of these new, newer, newer units being sold in Bangkok, um, they're super small. I don't know if you've seen, but they're anywhere from 24, 28, 34, 39, 42 square meters. And that's tight, meaning that if you put in a king-size bed like this guy did, you literally have maybe a foot on both sides to just kind of weasel your way into the bed. And... Um, realized right away that this opportunity to buy a 132 square meter place is great. Now here's another view um, from the corner uh, as we walk and wrap around to the beach view side. Now as you can see, you can see the water there in the distance and uh, and the street down below. Um, 
And so I'm about a five minute walk to the beach and the bus is actually, um, the bus route is right directly below me because that is is a street where the bus stops. And so I can hop on and off the bus very easily um, from my location. Now, he had a bunch of cleaning supplies and everything else, and uh, some Thai families came and bought some of those things, and so um, basically sold pretty much everything, so it was not bad. Uh, I think the only thing that he uh, asked for, which I think his friend came and picked up, was the bicycle, and uh, I don't ride a bicycle in the hot, smoky, dusty uh, area anyway, so uh, it was not needed for me, but um, this is um, is the um, master ba- uh, master bathroom. And had a great view um, uh, overlooking part partial ocean view with a city view. And uh, he had a washing machine, which I'll buy. I sold this actually to a um, construction guy who wanted to put it into a Thai home, right? So, you know, Thai people, they're willing to buy secondhand and um, got rid of this one. And I'll buy a brand new one myself. Now, one thing interesting about this master bath is it was tiered level. So there was like four sections that were at different levels and all four were at different heights throughout this bathroom. It was a large bathroom, but it was very unusual with all the different steps involved. And then the bathtub was sunken. So you actually had to be careful or you would have to be careful if you took a step into the bathtub because it would drop uh, a couple feet basically uh, from the level that uh, it was sitting at. Now there's some a little bit of cracks and uh, water damage. Uh, The seal broke here in the the glass panel here um, in the balcony to the left. And so all that stuff will be fixed and it doesn't cost that much here in Thailand to uh, get labor and get it fixed up. Now, here's the kitchen view. Um, you know, I sold the refrigerator, sold all the dining room tables. You can tell the cabinets were good. Uh, somebody came and uh, actually bought the upper units uh, cabinets, the, uh, the black ones. And somebody came down and wanted to buy the bottom units. And he even wanted that really old uh, <laughs> microwave and the burner set. And so I went ahead and sold everything um, in the kitchen area. But uh, there's that window view I showed you earlier uh, to the right. Now, this is a little bit of a heat vent there. You can get up to the uh, ceiling. Um, I decided not to do any recess lighting for the ceiling, but uh, what they're doing right now before they put in new AC units, um, they're going to go ahead and they're going to take this initial lower ceiling portion out, and uh, I'm going to gain about a foot and a half of uh, ceiling space. And so it'll feel uh, a little bit taller, uh, more spacious in the condo itself. Now, there's this is uh, the dining room table with the china uh, shelf over there. Uh, I sold that to uh, one gentleman. Uh, I'll buy my own furniture that'll fit the contemporary style that I'm looking for. Now, this is, I think, uh, one of the bedrooms. I want to say it's the master bedroom, one of the windows out of there. Uh, the master bedroom has full corner view windows so on one side you have two sets of windows on the other side you have three sets of windows so uh, you got plenty of views Um, this is from the master bathroom taking a shot into the bedroom you can see all the uh, additional space in here a tremendous amount of space but you can tell from the light above that's old and that ac unit uh, those ones that are in the uh, on the sidewall, uh, kind of pushed up to the uh, top of the ceiling. Um, I don't care for those so so much. I either like um, AC units that are hidden in the ceiling, or more the modern ones that you see in the restaurants. And so I'm going to go with the square, more modern ones that'll fit above in the ceilings, and uh, I'll go that route. Uh, I'll put two in the living room and one in the bedroom. A little bit of water damage. Um, on, one, on the wall in the bedroom. And that's all just uh, because of the seal. You know, it gets so hot and humid and the sun bakes those glass um, uh, glass windows and the seal kind of loosens up. And then of course, when we get the, uh, the rainy season or heavy downpour, uh, you know, kind of the moisture and the rain seeps in. Uh, all that stuff is uh, very doable, fixable, it's very easy. I think the owner was a little bit concerned about it, so he was uh, being very flexible with the selling price. But uh, honestly, these things are very simple to fix. Um, 
same thing here in the kitchen area. Uh, one of the AC units, new ones will go there. You can see the support beam there. Those are kind of some things that I had to think about in terms of how much ceiling space I'll have. There are, since it's such a large unit, there are uh, about three or four support beams that I got to deal with within the layout of uh, eventually when I move in, how the furniture is going to be placed, but uh, that's all workable. Uh, this is the guest uh, bathroom. As you walk into the front door, you can see the front door is open there. But uh, this is the bathroom. I uh, sold that bathroom door, actually, that wooden door. And uh, this gentleman uh, basically had uh, went out and bought water all the time and carried it up. I'm going to get a water filtration system uh, that's connected to both the bathroom and the kitchen. So I can drink the water right out of my kitchen faucet. I can rinse my lettuce, my salad. Uh, I can cook with that water without having to um, deal with uh, buying water or you know having a water bottle or something of that nature. Um, also, on top of that, uh, I'm going to get a uh, refrigerator that has a you know water feature and an ice making feature that all be filtered and so uh, it'll be just like a western home not like a typical uh, Thai style home where you have to deal with um, how safe the water is in terms of drinking and cooking uh, another picture of the bathroom you can tell from the mirror and from the light it's really old uh, <laughs> don't care for the blue sink uh, all that stuff doesn't matter because it's all going to be changed out um, another picture of the kitchen. Okay, so this is a little bit further back. Uh, the master bedroom is behind us. This is all that uh, wooden wicker furniture or wood furniture uh, that the gentleman had. Sold it all. Uh, made a good uh, deal on it. Got rid of it all. And um, uh, you can see how spacious uh, this unit is. Uh, this is the guest bathroom still, uh, the other urinal I talked about. Um, notice how there's little steps there, a, a spacing level issue. Not sure exactly what that's all about. Uh, I talked to the contractor already, and he says it's not to do with any support beams or piping. That's just elevated, just to be elevated. And he says that when you go back in there or when we go back in there to demo the place, it's all going to be level flat. So it'll be all one single flat smooth. You won't trip on it. We won't have any of that funky design. And so uh, it'll just uh, literally uh, throughout this whole condo, we're gaining a lot of inches on the flooring and above the ceiling where we'll gain about a foot and a half. Uh, another picture of the guest bath. Um, here's the uh, kitchen dining room area. This is, uh, I think, the second bedroom. Uh, the second bedroom had the balcony, uh, the master bedroom, because they had all the windows, uh, the window views. Um, the guest bedroom had the balcony, so I have two balconies. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with both balconies. One will be, of course, a barbecue and a smoker. The other one, maybe uh, some chairs and a coffee, uh, coffee stand. Um, I'm actually... Um, going to kind of ma basically mimic the coffee setup I had in my previous brand new condo. I had set up, um, I had uh, a gentleman from Italy who was running an Italian restaurant and he helped me make this little corner of my area to be a, like an Italian themed cafe. And so I had these nice, um, you know, Italian bricks uh, it was red, but it had a, you know, kind of a walkway stripe in it so that you could kind of t see two t tone colors. And then I had a nice round circular Italian glass top table with even an Italian umbrella. Um, I had the canopy and I had my little uh, silver espresso machine with all the coffee cups all lined up, ready to go. And it was kind of my little go-to spot uh, every morning, just sit down. I had a mural on the wall uh, of, uh, of Italy, and uh, it felt like I was in Italy. Um, I had worked and lived in Italy some time ago and over in Venice and Rome, uh, but majority of the time in Venice. And so this is uh, something that I had kind of wanted to relive and did that in my previous condo. And so what I'll do is um, I'll probably do that in a section of this condo since I have plenty of space. 
and I'm probably leaning toward not doing it in on the balcony just because it's kind of hot. I mean, I know I'm on the 14th floor and you get a breeze, but you know, I'm a kind of a baby. I like the AC, so I'll probably put that Italian cafe that I'm going to build in a corner or a section of the of the room um, more than likely indoors. So I'll have a spare balcony. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. So this is the kitchen area. There's a little bit of water damage on the wall there. Um, nothing that's a big deal. We're demoing everything out and fixing everything, and so it won't be uh, a, a, an issue. Now, this is the master bedroom still. There's a couch there, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. That was already sold. Oh, here's another picture of the master bath. You see all the steps there. I mean, you have one step there and then another step there. All those things were not needed. I'm not sure exactly why they built this uh, condo the way they did. It was very, very strange in some areas. But, you know, that's how we always say here in Thailand. That's Thailand for you. But anyways, um, there was about four or five sections in this master bathroom that were at different height levels. And you know what's amazing is notice how on the first step up, you know, it goes up, you know, so many centimeters or inches. Well, to the right is the same situation, but it was at a different height than that first step on the left. And so they didn't match up. And so as you took different steps in different portions of this master bath, you were stepping a little bit differently or a little bit off because not the second, first, first step, second step, they were not in the same height as the left as is to the right. I mean, it was very, very strange. Uh, lighting will be changed. You can see that blue support beam that can't go away. So those are kind of things that I'll deal with. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of am I going to paint it an accent wall color? Am I going to paint it white still? Uh, am I going to go ahead and uh, put a small TV monitor and a round circular tall table there, which will be my little bar area? I may put a dartboard over there. Um, you know, the, the options are endless. And until I kind of kind of back over there and I kind of sleep in the room and get a feeling for the place. I don't want to really commit to any ideas uh, until I uh, decide what I want to do. A little bit of that water damage I talked about earlier. Okay, so leaving the, um, you know, leaving the bathroom, notice that the little step there, I mean, it's super dangerous. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine how many times that this guy has probably stubbed his toe uh, in the middle of the night or even just during the daytime, just going up and down and over this little lip there uh, from the bathroom to the bedroom. And so this is the master bath again, old toilet, old sink, uh, all that piping that's exposed. And for me, I know in Thailand, most Thai people don't care about having pipes exposed, but I think it looks a little tacky. So all my stuff is going to be hidden, although I'm going to put in – I've always wanted to put in a commercial kitchen. Um, in high school and college, I worked on a cook's line. And um, I always wanted to have that stainless steel look. But instead of having a home-style, modern, um, home-style commercial kitchen, I wanted to more of the rugged look at a you know look like a restaurant type commercial kitchen and so i'm going to go ahead and do that but i still have most of the pipes for the dishwasher washing machine anything i put in will you know be pretty much hidden and even for the sink um unless i have shelving below the sink in the kitchen um uh, that'll be open too so uh that's kind of the plan right now so here's another picture of the master bedroom. And as you can see, all that light coming in uh, through the blinds there. So this is that corner unit I talked about. There's no balcony on this one. And notice how he put that funky table uh, in that corner, kind of where the support beam is. I thought that was a real <laughs> unusual spot to put a, a desk. And especially if for anybody who works uh, a lot online like I do, um, you know, it's just that glaring sun in your eyes while you're trying to do your work uh it just doesn't make sense i mean if you have to close your drapes all the time it's kind of a terrible thing so uh, i think you could have put that table somewhere else but uh, i don't know what i'll do in that corner i'll just probably be empty space and just a view um i do have a really nice uh, binocular and, and uh onocular and so i might put that there so when people come over they can go ahead and uh uh, look around and see the uh, Wat Temple and the hills 
and the, um, the bike and the walking trails and see the ocean. Uh, that'll be, be a good spot for it. So that's that. That's the kitchen. You've seen that. Uh, so yeah, sold the speakers. They were old and somebody bought it. You know, it's amazing how people will buy stuff. And especially in Thailand where the average age is quite a bit older. Uh, plus people are really thrifty, right? And so uh, basically was able to sell that old stereo. Um, I mean, I, for me, if I was there, I would have probably just chucked it. And instead the agent sold it and got a few extra bought for it. Uh, saw that already. This is the master bathroom. Um, I thought he really did a very poor job of utilizing this window view. Um, he had the washing machine there. He had stored boxes and other stuff and cleaning poles there. And so basically, uh, there was never a time where he was looking out and seeing, um, the city view. Now, this is the guest bedroom. This used to be a two-bedroom place. Uh, my place is going to be a one-bedroom. I had to talk to a lot of my friends and some former colleagues, uh, my old boss who's retired. These all, all these people still live in the area and or still visit the area. And I said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and remodel the place and put in a second bedroom, uh, a guest bedroom. So that way, when you come and visit, you can stay here for free. And they said, no, no, no. You really should think about just making a one-bedroom. Um, hotels are all up and down your street. Plus, they're super cheap. Get people to stay at a hotel. Stop, you know, taking in people like you usually do. Tell them to go stay at a place. And he said, uh, use that extra space for all the stuff that you want to do. And so, I went ahead and after uh, having these conversations with all my friends and former coworkers, I uh, decided to uh, not have the two bedrooms and made it into a one bedroom. Um, this unit. Um, I'm 99% sure I won't ever sell it. I'm building it in a way where I'm going to keep this forever. And so unless uh, it's a health situation or I get sick, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, sell this place. And so uh, I don't need to worry about having it being a one-bedroom listed or a two-bedroom listed for sale in the future. Uh, this is the view of that living room area I talked about. That uh, guest bedroom is on the left. The uh, master be bedroom is straight ahead. And this is the living space. Now, to the right of that living space, uh, where that big old couch is, that's where I'm going to go ahead and put the kitchen uh, against the wall. And just line it up. I'm not going to do a, um, I'm not going to have a stationary or um, fixed island i'm not going to go ahead and do an l shape or anything like that i'm just going to have all my kitchen appliances straight up against the wall i'll have plenty of light behind me from all those windows giving me good lighting uh during the daytime for cooking and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a um uh wooden cutting board uh shelving uh on wheels uh which will be my movable uh, island basically on wheels and so that way, when I, I want to use it, uh, I just push it forward. And when I don't, uh, it'll just be turned and, cor and put in the corner. And so that's kind of the plan right now. Uh, this is that uh, guest bedroom. Um, there's a big old white shelf in front of us. I went ahead and sold that. Uh, you know, people come and buy it, and then it's their responsibility to move it. And didn't really hear much from the real estate agent on that. And so uh, that is uh, what happened. Now, um, Let's see here. Uh, I think we've seen all these pictures. Oh, here's the pool. So the pool is on the back side of the whole uh, back side of the condo. And it's an older pool, as you can tell. It's not a modern, upscale hotel. I'll show you some pictures of my last condo. I don't know why, but I never took any photos of my two previous condos before that. But my last condo, I took some photos, and people were always amazed at how great that pool was. And that was only one of two pools in my complex. And that one pool was overlooking my balcony. But it's not as nice and grand as um, my other one. But to tell you the truth, I don't really go to the pool too much. <laughs> so, And so they have a kind of a uh, sunbathing deck uh, above the pool. And uh, they actually have chess up on that table there where people sit and play chess, but it's so hot outside. I don't know how people can stand it. Here's another view of the city skyline, the hills. Uh, the hills over there, you see that uh, on the top right uh, corner there, as uh, you can see the kind of the brushes and trees over there on the right. Um, my condo used to be behind that tall building and uh, used to do hikes and trails up there. 
and uh, know the area pretty well, but I wanted to be closer into the city. Another city view, another city view. See plenty of space here for this guy in his master bedroom. Uh, the beach over there, you can see the water. The guest bedroom, sold that dresser, sold the fan, sold that nightstand. Um, you know, very quick uh, walk and stroll to the beach. And this is the layout of my unit. You can see uh, it was basically you walk in right here. Uh, this is all corridor, but this right here is uh, basically a shaft. And so there's actually no neighbors or anything here. Uh, there's no neighbors here on this side. Uh, there's, I think, a neighbor on this side. So I basically have one neighbor here, and there's a hallway before there's any neighbors on this side. Now, this is the, the kitchen area with the window, the two balconies. This is the kitchen uh, dining room area. This was the guest bedroom, the master bedroom, and then that funky bathroom. And then this is that kind of the powder room, half bath. Um, actually, you know, it was a full bath. I mean, it, there there was a shower in there. There was a sink, a toilet, everything you could possibly imagine. Um, but, um, you know, it was smaller. Um, went ahead and uh, we'll take out this whole area here, take out all the walls, uh, do an open floor plan. So basically, uh, I'll have 1,400, uh, 1,420 square feet to work with. And so uh, it's pretty spacious for myself. Uh, they got a little uh, gym area downstairs uh, next to the entryway into the pool area. Uh, so I have a place to work out. I just do usually a uh, stationary bike. Uh, but more and more, I've been kind of doing the, the, the hill climber thing because uh, it's uh, kind of works out my whole entire body. And so I've been using that. But I love the fact that they have all these different types of uh, exercise bikes. And so different varieties to choose from. Oh, yeah, there was some, some tiles taken out because uh, they were checking for leakage problems. They thought they was leaking from um, some other source, but uh, it wasn't the case. They have extra tiles, but I wasn't keeping any of the tiles, so it was no big deal. The fuse box there, as you enter, it's going to be moved over to the top of the hood of the front door. A whole new panel. I'm doing a whole new electrical, so no big deal there. Oh, here's that bath I was talking about in the master bath. Isn't that crazy? You step up, and you can't quite tell here, but there's actually a lip here. And so you got to kind of put your foot over this lip, and then you drop about two feet into the bathtub. I mean, I don't know how dangerous that is, but I think it's dangerous. See that old uh, <laughs> old microwave and that two-burner grill that's super old? Sold that. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so there's that. There's the old lighting here. Uh, first of all, they're not energy efficient. They actually burn hot. And they put a brown spots around this uh, paint area. All that stuff will be taken out. I'll go with the new energy efficient LED smart switches. Make this a smart home. Um, this is the uh, uh, this is the master bath. Uh, all this empty space he used. He didn't use the window space. So all these sold all the cabinets. There's that funky glass that uh, you see in a lot of the 60s and 70s homes. The urinals got rid of those. You know, a lot of this stuff, um, the contractor had other contractors come in and they bought it. You know, there's people who are poor in Thailand. And so they're looking for Westerners who are remodeling to buy this. Now, here's that shower that I told you about in that half, well, which I told you was a half bath. But really, it's a full bath. I mean, it's small, but uh, they have this uh, shower in there, I guess. <clears throat> Old knobs, going to go with smart switches, old water heater. I don't like uh, how they do it in Thailand where everything's out in the open. Uh, my new, more modern contemporary bathroom will have a extra large water heater and it will be hidden. And so, you know, it won't be visible. Sold all that, sold that. There's the front door right there in front of us. Um, those doors can't change, so I got I couldn't sell those doors. There, uh, you got to keep them. Everybody's has to have the same wooden doors in the building, so everything kind of matches up. Yeah, old fans. Uh, my understanding was the fan didn't even work. That's why he had it unplugged so it wouldn't catch a fire. Uh, there's that funky bathroom again. Uh, there's his bicycles there. Um, his friend came by, picked those up. Um, 
Yeah, so there's those pictures. I think we've gone through everything. So went through everything. Oh yeah, this is the one of the doors, uh, spare door. I had to save one of the wooden doors just in case I need it uh, for the connecting the bathroom with the master bathroom. Um, just with the vents on there, I had some plans to put in a, um, a, wa a mural on there and make it uh, one sheet. But um, more than likely, I'm going to change that idea. But uh, we have a spare door, I guess, that we didn't sell. Mm. Yeah, you see all this wiring that's out and exposed and whatnot, kind of falling down. <laughs> all these things needed to be fixed up. So got that all uh, situated in the plan. And so, uh, yeah, that's a little bit of my condo purchase, my largest online purchase I have ever done. And on top of that, to boot, uh, it was overseas in Thailand during this uh, pandemic and I got a hell of a deal on it, you know, and it was just, I was laying in bed and I thought, you know, it felt like deja vu. And I was like, man, this sure looks like something I looked at before. And then I looked at it really carefully and realized, you know, and I looked at a couple other sites where it actually was still had the old listing price. See, he listed this with about seven different agents and it was listed for 6.99 when I looked at it, which was 233,000. And I don't want to spend 233,000. And then it was listed for a lot less, and I got it all the way down to initially I offered 99, you counter with 105 or something around there, 109. And then we got it down to, you know, around the 105 area to 108 area based on conversion, I don't remember. And then uh, from there, I sold all that furniture, and uh, basically out the door, it cost me uh, $99,000 US for 132 square meter. 1,420 square feet, which I think is, you know, heck of a good deal in Thailand, and especially location, 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 uh, exactly where I wanted to be. So I'm very happy with that. So I'll go ahead and finish up the video here. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, do a follow-up video very quickly on the remodel, the demo side of the construction. And so that way, um, I'll go ahead and um, be able to um, show you exactly how that process is working, what's happening. I have some videos uh, the agent gave me, and so you can uh, kind of follow along with the project. And so that'll be exciting. So anyways, I'll let it go here, and I'll be in touch soon. Thanks.